And first off, the funniest part about this is my outfit of the day is actually from Zara. <laughs> but that's not what we're here to talk about. Hey y'all, it's Britt Latrice and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be here today. So what I have is a video about six places that I think you can shop that are not Zara. I know this is kind of interesting coming from me as a self-diagnosed Zara addict. I used to just, ooh, I used to go so hard. Through the years I have eased up and <laughs> gotten better but y'all when I tell you I have a whole hashtag that I created called Zara Chronicles and during the sale season you used to find me activating it hard because like I would always have some story about how I was acting a plum mess shopping at Zara so yeah but the truth is guys because of the prominence that Zara has had over the years it can be difficult to think about the other brands that exist that are still equally as amazing but may not have that same type of like love on social media that Zara tend to just get. Zara has really mastered it really guys. Every single season they have something that is like trending on TikTok. Girls love to show you what's new in season. They love to show you their hauls. They love to try things on for you. So like it is that store and people love it for that reason. At the same time, I just wanna give you some options in case you wanna kinda like, you know, zig when everybody's zagging and try something a little bit different. So let's get into and it. And the first one that I have for you, which is a favorite of mine, is Mango. Mango is also a Spanish store, just like Zara, but I would say in terms of its brick and mortar presence in America, it hasn't had as strong of one as Zara has had through the years and a lot of places just do not have an actual physical mango store but mango online is just so good y'all I have this suit that I got from there a few years ago it's like a burnt orange color it's really giving pretty woman and I think they just have those really gorgeous European very clean very beautiful very like upscale elevated cuts and looks and feels to it I do think of mango the one thing that I think is different is I do think that they tend to use a lot more different colors and patterns with their clothes so you know it is for the person who might want to be a little bit bolder in terms of your color choice but they do have you for the neutral girlies as well so I love it so much I've gotten some really wonderful pieces from there and it's definitely one of those stores that if it is not it should be on your radar. The second store that I have for you is Kaz. I love this store so much y'all. Every time I'm at World Trade Center in the Oculus, I'm like, let me go to Kaz. That's like one of the first orders of business. I just love, like it's almost one of those type of stores that I feel like if Everlane and Zara like had a baby, you have Kaz. And maybe that's not doing cause enough justice, but I really like its boutique like shopping experience. They don't have too many clothes in the store to overwhelm you. But when I tell you every single piece that I see is so gorgeous. I love the colors. They tend to like really put out a lot more earth tones. So you, as you can probably see, that's kind of a jam. And I, I just love the style of it. I love their accessories. I love the actual clothes, their matching sets. Like that is just such a great store. And if you ask me, looking at where we are now in fashion, I think Kaz is that girl and she's a little underrated, but like keep an eye out because that store is definitely picking up the traction that it deserves and like literally everything online, I'm actually grateful for that store at the World Trade Center and the Oculus because everything that hits online sells out in like a split second. And it's very difficult to get your hands on some of the pieces that are more crowd favorites from Kaz because it seems like as soon as they come in, they are sold out. So definitely one of those stores and places to watch for sure. So the third option that I have for you is Massimo Duty. So imagine Zara had an elevated, like sophisticated big cousin, and that is Massimo Duty. Very similar to like how you look at like an Urban Outfitters anthropology in terms of like sister stores, but it is such 
a dope store y'all i always love the different fabrics that they have season over season especially some of the leather pieces it can get a little pricey but y'all like some of the cuts are just uh, whoo just like an a plus plus like clutch's pearls are so good and i would say to what i've seen over the years is zara has started to introduce Massimo Duty to Zara shoppers and kind of incorporating it so people can get an understanding of how good it is and how it's very complementary to your Zara wardrobe. So Massimo Duty is one of those stores that is just amazing and worth keeping on your radar as well. The fourth option that I have for you is Pixie Market. I personally have not shopped at Pixie Market just yet, but some of my favorite content creators wear their clothes and it always hits. There's a bomber that they have right now that is just everything. It seems to kind of be their take on the Loewe bomber and I keep seeing my favorite fashion girlies wearing it. It is gorgeous. It looks so good and I'm like this is a store that I need to do better remembering is an option because the clothes, the sweaters, the materials, they look really nice and they seem very easy to incorporate with your pre-existing wardrobe but also take it up just a little notch in a very like relaxed but put together type of way, which I really like. So the fifth option that I have for you guys is Dish. And there was a dress a few seasons ago that was just gorgeous that I love from it. From the research that I've done, it looks like they do linens very well and it kind of has more of a coastal vibe. So I imagine packing this away more for trips to like the Hamptons or Martha's Vineyard. The fabrics look very breathable, light, airy it just kind of has that like really nice ladies who lunches vibe about it and it's something different because i think sometimes when we think of coastal style we think of very traditional things like boat shoes maybe things that for you know today's modern woman who likes contemporary brands that's not necessarily what you would wear but i feel like they caught the vibes well but its interpretation in a way that seems fashionable and nice is definitely there. So it's something that I think I will definitely be wearing throughout this summer and definitely one that I think you should just kind of like tuck away in your back pocket, especially for those seasons where the weather really breaks. They have gorgeous clothes for that. And last but not least, I have to mention Source Unknown. Source Unknown, y'all, very similar to cause in the sense that it's that girl right now. There's a lot of pieces that often go viral on TikTok from there and every piece hits. It's so good. I think, you know, these look at these as more contemporary investment pieces, but also but not not to the point where you're like, like what did I just do? But more um of those pieces that are not as trendy they're a little bit more classic the material looks to be nice this is a store that when you get a piece from them it looks like from what i can see it is one of those pieces that is not just like a one and done but it's a piece that you can really integrate into your wardrobe and really get your cost per wear out of which is what we want if we're going to pay a little bit more for some of these like more contemporary brands that aren't quite high-end designer but like really fall into their own line. I don't even want to call them high street because that doesn't feel complimentary enough to these brands, but more along those lines. So yeah, hopefully this gives you a little bit of food for thought and just things to think about as you're continuing like your shopping journey. I know for me, I'm really trying to build out a really great um, capsule wardrobe because now I'm starting to go back into the office more often for work. And it's like, I don't want to think about it, but I want to know it's like a good quality piece. It's easy to wear that will take me from day to night. And yeah, just like really interchangeable within my overall wardrobe. So yeah, that is everything I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it insightful and helpful. If there's other brands too that you guys like, please drop them in the comments. I would love to learn more. And I think it's just always good to just know what else is out there and to keep our options open. So yes, that's everything I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications each time I upload. I'll chat with you later. Bye.